Hello everyone. Today we will build a game named Space Invader using Codex platform of OpenAI. Let's see how the game will actually look. You can move the spaceship using mouse and you can shoot bullet using the space bar. Every time you shoot the alien, the score is increased by one. If you miss the alien, the game is actually over. Before we start our work, first let's get an idea about Codex. So Codex is a platform which is powered by OpenAI and it allows users to generate games, animation and other interactive media. It has prompt where you can give a instruction in plain English and it will generate a JavaScript code based on that. Before we start our coding, uh, so let me show you the asset I have used to uh, create this game. So this is the first intro uh, image which will be used. And this is the image of the spaceship. This is the bullet. And this is the alien image. This is the image of space which I'm using as a background of the game. So we will start our work by giving the command to this prompt. And all the commands I have written over here so that I don't have to type. So let's take this command and pass, pass it on. The first command is use this image as background. Once you give this command, the code will be generated and we can see that the codex has set this as a background image. The next command is use this as intro image and remove this image after two seconds. So you can see that whenever we give a command, the code is generated and then it is passed on. The next command I'm giving is display this image as a spaceship and make it small and place it at the bottom. So you can see now we have our spaceship sitting here. Next, I'm, we will ask make a spaceship image move left or right with the mouse movement, keeping Y constant and X as mouse X. Once this is done, now you can see that we are able to move our spaceship. We do have a scroll in the X axis, so I'll go and disable this scroll now. Disable X scroll. And now we can see the scroll is disabled. Next command is to fire a bullet. So the command is when spacebar key is pressed, display this bullet image and make bullet size small, then move bullet size image from Y0 to Y max, make it look like a spaceship is firing bullet. Now we'll try and check. By pressing on the space bar key, I can see the bullet is getting fired now. Next, we are going to use enemy image. So I'm giving a command that use this image as enemy and generate enemy every four second location y equal to zero and x is equal to random and move it down with the speed so let's wait you can see that we have alien coming down every four second and the location is random that's good next step is we are going to add a collision detection uh, in the code so the command is add collision detection method for bullet and enemy. If enemy and bullet image overlap, then remove that enemy image and increase the score by one. And the code is ready. Let's see collision detection. Yeah. So we can see that on fire bullet now, we are able to kill the alien. Next, we are going to display our uh, scoreboard. So once the code is ready, let's try and see if the score is updated. Um, yeah, so we can see every kill of alien, the score is increased by one. 
next we are going to uh, set the game over screen so the command is when enemy reaches bottom this the, it should be a game over yeah so you can see that once the enemy reached down the game was over the next step is copying the code as a part of index.html only modification i have done is added a, a sound effect so every time you fire a bullet or you kill an enemy the sound effects will be added so here i have added as a bullet sound and the same i have added a kill sound when collision detection is done so there are two and on the game over screen i have added another uh, sound effect code code and all the assets are added as a part of github and the link will be available in video description so please check out if you found this tutorial helpful and informative please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you have any suggestions please leave a comment below thanks for watching